folks, this video is all about finding a book cover designer and this is the first in a series of videos for self-published authors, particularly to do with book design, but I've got some other knowledge from various places <laughs> that I can share and I think will be valuable to you if you have self-published or you want to self-publish. So I'm Holly, if you don't know me, I am a book cover designer, but I also have worked at bookshops in the past, so I have dealt with uh, self-published authors coming in and, and trying to sell their books into bookshops, as well as some experience I have working for a local company which helps authors to self-publish their books and get them into bookshops. So this video is about finding a book cover designer and then I will go on to talk about how to work with the book cover designer, how to formulate a brief, all those kinds of things and, and take you on the steps to your final book cover. So why is it important to have a good book cover in the first place and to have one that is specific to your book. Well, a book cover is your reader's first point of contact with your book. Usually they will walk into a bookshop, see the book on the shelf and if they like the cover, pick it up and have a read of the blurb. If they're shopping online, it's the same thing with the thumbnail. They will click on the thumbnail if they like the look of it and think that it looks like the kind of thing that they would like to read. So as much as we say don't judge a book by its cover, when it comes to actual books we all do it and we do it for a reason because books are marketed in a particular way to set off you know, reminders in our brain saying oh yeah this looks similar to this book that I've read before and enjoyed. So those are the kinds of connections you want to be making with your readers. When you're searching for a book cover designer, it helps to have a budget in mind to start out. Now, I know that a lot of indie authors don't have a lot of money to spend on book covers, and I will get to some of the cheaper options in a moment. But I would say that if you are looking to have a book cover designed for you, especially for your book by a professional designer, you're looking at upwards of 500 US dollars. Now, if you're looking to get some custom artwork done, maybe you're going to need a particular type of person on the cover, so that's going to include uh, a photo shoot, or if you need custom illustration, that is going to cost you significantly more because that has to be made from scratch. So yes, it can be quite expensive to get a book cover designed specifically for your book, but bear in mind that you are then going to be a step ahead of other indie authors in your genre. On the cheaper end of the scale, I would recommend looking into pre-made covers before going to somewhere like Fiverr or other cheaper sites where you can get book covers made. Book cover design is a very specific set of skills and it's different from even just graphic design in general. So it does really help to have somebody who knows about book cover design and about designing within that particular ratio and size. Pre-made covers are a great option because they are made by professionals and if you can find something that suits your book that is absolutely fantastic. It means that you can simply swap out the text and you know the, the title and author name and voila you've got a cover and you know exactly what you're going to get with a pre-made cover. So you've got a budget in mind. Great. Now it's time to research your genre. Now, if you're writing in a particular genre, you should be pretty familiar with the kinds of covers and tropes that you see on those covers because presumably you're reading quite a bit of that genre. So figure out what the common tropes are within that genre and question why that is the case and look at the ones that are selling well as well as the ones that aren't selling so well because that can give you a good idea of, of how far you can push those those boundaries without going so far that people won't know what your book is. At this stage you want to figure out whether you think a photographic cover is going to suit or a, an illustrated cover or maybe one that is just purely typographic. When it comes to actually finding a book cover designer there are a few different ways you can approach it. My personal favourite is looking to your own bookshelves, looking to books in your genre and finding who the cover designers were. This is usually pretty easy, it's either on the back of a cover if it's a paperback or on the inside flap of the dust jacket if it's a hardback. Occasionally it will also be on the copyright page but it should be one of those three places. 
Likewise, you can go into your local bookshop or library and take a notepad, note down who the designers are in these particular books. You can also look online on somewhere like Amazon. It might not be quite so easy to find the book cover designers if there isn't that much information in the preview on Amazon, but it's, it's worth having a look. Spine Magazine is another great resource and there are other online publications to do with book cover design. If you look at the book covers we love that Spine Magazine does, they will list all the, the publishers and cover designers for each book. If you particularly want to work with somebody local to you, then you could simply Google it. So if you're, say, in Toronto, you could Google book cover designer Toronto and hopefully a few people will come up. But there are other ways you can go, like searching on Instagram or somewhere like Behance, a portfolio site for designers. So you want to be looking for somebody who is specifically a book cover designer. So once you've got that list, you then Google them if you haven't already and make a short list. So have a look at their portfolios and figure out, for one thing, do they work with self-published authors? Because some book designers just won't, you know, that they're happy making their money working with publishers and that's fine. If you can see that they have worked with indie authors in the past, they are the people to reach out to. If not, well, you can still reach out to them, but I wouldn't put too much stock in them and, you know, have them as your one choice uh, because that is quite common in the book design world that people will just work with publishers. It's also useful to look at the breadth of their portfolio and whether they work in a particular style. You know, just get a bit of a feeling of the way they design and whether that one book that you saw on your shelf or in a bookshop was an outlier or whether it's fairly typical of their work. So then we come to the final part, we're just contacting those book cover designers. Now this usually is by email, most book cover designers will list an email on their website. If not, you could reach out to them through Instagram, but this is generally seen as less professional. You'll want to introduce yourself, give as much information as you can here. So say who you are, where you're based, um, if you have a website or any social media links, definitely include those. I'm going to do a video in the future talking about uh, creating a design brief, which is even better if you can just send that out to a designer, that's fantastic. If you have a budget in mind already, it might be helpful to put that as a sort of ballpark in that first email, just because it can save a lot of back and forth if you know your budget doesn't match up to their fee. Ask for a quote from your designer and for a turnaround time, so how long it typically takes and how many revisions they are, are willing to offer. And then this is all information that you can put into your contract, into your timeline. So if you do this with a few different book cover designers, hopefully you will get some responses back, get some quotes and get some people who are keen to work with you. At this point, you've probably got a short list anyway of you know the people you'd most like to work with and hopefully somebody from that list responds to you. Uh, but you can of course do it one at a time and you know, if one person says no, you can move on to the next person. Um, but if you are emailing more than one person at once, it might be a courtesy to say, hey, I'm just looking for some quotes at the moment and, and say to those people that you're emailing, I've asked a few people for a quote and you are one of them. All right, so that is more or less how you find and reach out to a book cover designer. If you have any other methods of doing this, do let me know down in the comments and um, other people can go there and, and see what methods you have. Uh, likewise, if you have any questions, do let me know and I will do my best to answer them in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.